Good morning, van life is happening. So you may remember that last time we attempted van life, it didn't quite go so smoothly. So we filled the entire van and we were literally just about to get out of the door. And Connor has actually been struggling for the last three days. So every time he woke up, he kept having like dizzy spells and felt quite motion sick. The holiday is canceled. Ah! Connor came down with vertigo, he couldn't drive, Connor's stepdad had to take the van back and yeah the, ho the whole holiday was cancelled basically but we've got him back, the owners were kind enough to let us just take him out again so it's actually happening, we're going away, it's only for a night but we're getting a little taster of van life and we'll see how we get on. Now I'll save you the boring stuff because we have already packed, everything's the same as usual but I have been limited to what I'm allowed to take because it's only one night, we've got half a cupboard left just saying. But I think this is properly going to be a test to see if we've got what it takes to do van life with a baby. First things first, coffee. I've had to pull over because I forgot to clip the table back. This thing moves around and I completely forgot to clip it. There's these little clips underneath that keep it stationary during transit. And of course I bloody forgot. No harm done, luckily. Get back on the road. First stop of our trip, and uh, I've actually managed to park us in a normal spot. Hello. Hello. We're van life people. Hello, We're van life boy. stuff off grid. <sighs> right. Daddy. Well, this is certainly a perk of van life. I know, park up in an Audi. Park up in an Audi car park and feed your child. And whilst we're here, I think we're gonna do our shopping for our time away so we can kill two birds with one stone. The best thing about having a van, you can bring your shopping straight to your kitchen. <laughs> we may as well show them what we got. Okie doke. Right. Let's get to camping. It's raining. It's raining, yeah, it's raining. Should we go home? In Connor and Liana fashion, not only have we come and it started to rain, but we also forgot Cozy's coat. And there is nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> you c Bless you! I don't know what to do. There's no superstores. We've got food though. And we have quite quickly realised that there is Definitely not enough room in here for three people. So even though we're completely off grid in this van and we can just run power from the solar panels or whatever, <laughs> is that funny? I'm gonna attempt hooking up, they call it. And don't worry, babe, not with another female. Oh. Just with a plug socket. And unfortunately, the cable is under your buttocks. Is it actually? Yeah. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? So yeah, well, can, if you uh, could just... Um, if I can just get, yep. get past you here. Yep, that's... You yep. step out that yep. way. Yep, got it. Yeah. Okay, right, yeah. Oh, I've gone in the actually. Let me just if I can just get in. In this way. Yeah. We'll take the, put this on. Yep. Oh. Go. Get this over there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the kit. Why is there a plug on the end of it? Where are you going? That's the water. You know, well, we don't want to plug it into the water. That sounds dangerous. Are we in? Is that going to reach? Are you going to reach? Are you not gonna reach? We're in! Yay! See, Daddy to the I've just heard something make a noise, so that yeah. must mean we're in, yeah. I was on. Out my way. I Why? Need a, I need a wee. It's definitely cozy vibes in here when the blinds are down, isn't it? Ah. That's so cute. Well, this is definitely a first, isn't it, cozy? We're all having a family <laughs> wee. Right, well, uh, we probably should have done this before we uh, left because I've completely forgot about this. Yep. Let's see if the travel cot fits. I think it will. This is the space that we're working with. The only way this will work is if the travel Sideways. cot fits this way. I'm almost certain it's not going to fit if I remember how big this is. I don't even know if there's enough room to open it. Yeah, there is. I don't think there is. You need to, no, you need to stand here and open it that way. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do know what you're saying. It's gonna fit. It could fit. It could I fit. Told you it, it could fit. it could actually fit. Oh my god, I think it's gonna fit. Yay! I think I, I actually think it's gonna fit. Yay! Yay! So Look at that. context. It fits perfectly. We're gonna be here and Cozy's gonna be right here. It couldn't be more perfect. I knew it would fit. 
Have you just made yourself spy glasses on the window? We've got neighbours. Have we actually? Yeah. Give it me a bigger spy glass, please. Oh. I want them seeing in. <laughs> we went out, we went to go and get Cozy a coat so that we could go for a walk tomorrow morning. Hello. Nice to meet you. <coughs> Bless you. And we came back, it had been raining, and we've got... We've We're got stuck. <laughs> Simple as that. Can't get out of the mud. Wheels are spinning more than my head after vertigo. The grass is soaking. I'm going to already turn the grass. Yeah. How bad? Pretty, oh, pretty bad. Pretty bad? Yeah. We're oh, still sliding. We're not moving, are we? Oh. Try coming backwards. Oh. We're still bloody spinning, aren't we? What's happening? I forgot to take the handbrake off. So it might have worked. <laughs> That's why Is that why it was beeping? Yeah. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Do you want to tell me when I've just realised the handbrake was no, away? I, I can't. <laughs> You're embarrassed. Yeah. So we're actually now almost in a fence at the side of the field and that's where we shall be sleeping they until due okay. course. Yeah, they said it was okay. We don't even know if we're going to be able to get out in the morning. We tried wedges under the wheels, we tried being towed and nothing was working. So we might have to live here for the rest of our lives, Cozy Bump. Anyways, we've set up the bed. It is way past Cozy's bedtime. That is how long we've been trying to get this van out. We haven't had dinner, so we're going to chill we're gonna wind him down a little bit and hopefully eat and then put him down because obviously we have to go to bed when he goes to bed because we're in a very small confined space right well before cozy goes to bed i think it's time to try at least and chef up some sort of madness <laughs> Dinner is served and you are not ready. I'm trying to think of what I can call this meal. Pasta a la olive. Oh, is it Greek? It's Greek, <laughs> yeah. Straight from Greece. Cozy's cot is now erect. Whoa. Babe, that is a word. Erect means like put up. It's, it's a word. Get out the gutter, will you? And Cozy, as you can see, is finally kipping. I just hope he goes down, bless him. You're tired too. I can't wait for my Greek pasta. Olive de pasta. <laughs> Coming to you live from stuck in the mud. Even if we wanted to leave, we couldn't. How does that make you feel? Sad. I think we should probably have a look at the damage. <laughs> coming to pull us out. I think we owe you some grass seed. I think we're going to have a walk around the campsite now. Um, I don't think that will hold you. Right, listen here. First of all, right, I might not have been to the gym recently and I might have had a few McDonald's over the last two weeks, but it doesn't mean that this log isn't going to hold me. If I hear one crack, you need to get off it. Oh, how do men do this? <laughs> is your van stuck in the mud? Do not fear, the Darlow is here. Oh no. Let's let's go. Get your ropes out. I'm gonna tow you. Oh, another swing. I, d I did mean to ask you actually, um, how you feel about your new shoes that you decided to bring with you? How are they? Uh... Oh, now they match every other pair of shoes I own. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've only done a day of van life. And it's all gone wrong, but we still want to experience all that van life has to offer So we're gonna carry on on our driveway sounds thrilling to me, but there is one more task that needs to be dealt with which is The stink box I think you should empty it right we're home 
<laughs> Daddy's about to chef up some absolute madness for breakfast. Like Liana said, you know, we've been away in the van. We can't now skip breakfast, come home and forget about it. We need the full experience. So we're back in the van on our driveway, breakfast time. Let's get it. We may or may not have cheated a little bit. We might have gone in the house. I like those beans. I don't really like instant coffee. Probably have a coffee machine if we do van life right, as a priority space. Mm -hmm. Isn't this just how we expected our van life to go? What, wrong? Yeah. yeah. We didn't empty the toilet. Oh my, g looks like you've got a job to do whilst I'm cooking breakfast. Where's it supposed to go? Um, well, I guess in our toilet. That looks like a, oh, <laughs> oh my whizzle stick. Right, let's go. You want to twizzle the, so put it flat again. You want to twizzle that thing. This. Yep, swing it round. Right. And then take off the cap. Like this. Yep. And then there's a white button on there. You need to hold that down and tip at the same time. You're probably going to need two hands. Nobody wants to see this. Oh, how have you done that? You told me it would come out of here. It will come out of there. But I just pressed the button and it came out the bottom. Okay, don't. You've lied to me. Don't press you the button. You've lied to me. Don't press the button. I didn't mean to. I just saw an old guy on YouTube. You told me to press the button and now there's a wee on my feet. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> it gets worse. Why? Because I just cleaned up the floor with a tissue. Yeah. Pulled my sock off. And instead of throwing the tissue in the toilet, I threw my sock into the toilet. <laughs> no, you didn't. And when you wee on yourself, it's usually a good idea to have a nice warm outdoor shower in the rain. Oh. It's cold. Wow. <gasps> if this isn't van life, oh. then I don't know what is. That's actually, oh my God, it's so nice. Yeah, well, you normally don't do this on your driveway. Is there any shampoo? This wraps up a lovely van life trial. One day, I'm covered in mud. We got stuck, we got wet. We had to get a tractor to pull us out of the mud. Maybe don't park on wet grass when it's raining outside. No one told us! 